Haha, <laughs> what's up, tubers? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, today was a rough day. Not because of the whole coronavirus thing, because my daughter, my 10 year old daughter, wanted to learn how to ride a bike. I know, I know, some of y'all thinking, God damn, 10 years old, she don't know how to ride a bike? Yeah, we took a long time asking her. But my ex called me up, she said, Garrick, Gigi needs to learn how to ride a bike. So I go up there, and now, we get the bike thing going. Now, I'm 40 plus years old. My daughter, like I said, Gigi is 10. Now, I'm, 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 I got her, I'm pushing her on the bike, I'm pushing her, but at 40 plus, my body is a little bit different. So when I'm pushing her, I'm struggling. My back is starting to hurt, the old age is kicking in. It got so bad as I'm pushing her, my daughter, she looked at me, she said, Daddy, you okay? And I, you know, I gotta be tough, I'm the man. I'm like, no girl, I'm cool, I'm good, I'm good. Are you okay? I try to put it back on her, are you okay? And so we going around and as I'm going after about five minutes, my back is killing me. Now I gotta be the strong dad, so I gotta keep going. Even though I wanna stop, I wanna throw in the towel. Remember the movie Rocky, throw the towel, throw the damn towel. I wanted to throw the towel in and stop. And I guess the Lord heard my prayers because all of a sudden it started raining. And I was like, "Woo! thank you, God. You heard my prayers. Thank you very much. I said, Gigi, we got to stop. We got to go back in because it's raining. So I want to thank God for sending me the rain. Because I almost damn near killed myself with my lower back. It was in pain, but as a dad, you gotta be strong. So I had to show that strong side. But the Lord knew that I couldn't handle it, so he said, let there be rain. And it rained. Woo! So, let's get into what I wanna do today. Today, I'm going to do a taper fade for you guys. You're going to learn from it. You're going to like it. If you're a new barber, study. You will be great after seeing this. If you're an older barber, you can learn some new tricks. Y'all know how I like to do. Hit it! Welcome to Kitchen Cuts. <laughs> I kind of like that name, Kitchen Cuts. That's, that's dope. But uh, the first thing we want to do when we're cutting the client's hair is let's prep it. And we always want to brush it in, or comb it in the direction that it grows. Okay, got the homie all prepped up. Now it's time to cut. I got a one and a half guard and I'm going with the grain. Uh, the reason why I'm going with the grain so it can look smoother and lay down real nice. You can start off with the grain. I mean, you can start off against the grain, but that may take a little bit too much off. So as a new barber, I highly recommend you always start off going with the grain. And then one of the things that he did that I really liked is he washed his hair before he came to see me. So his hair is dry now because you always want to cut somebody's hair dry. You never want to cut anyone with a greasy, oily scalp because one, it can clog your clippers. Two, when they go home and wash it, it can kind of look a little bit different because they're washing the grease out and it might look patchy. So especially if you're a new barber starting off and you're cutting somebody at home, you always want to wash their hair before you cut it. And of course, make sure it's dry or you can get zzz. Now I'm going to use my T outliners to create the first line for his taper fade. Since I'm going, since I'm doing like about a mid-level taper fade, I'm going to create that line to it goes to about the middle of his arch. Okay, now I'm creating my second line. I'm going to start with my lever down. And then as I go along, I'm going to move my lever up. But the point of me moving my lever up and down is I want to get rid, I want to create my second line, but at the same time, get rid of that first line.
Now I'm gonna use my number one Andy's Magnetic Guard. And what I'm doing right here is I'm starting up high with the grain because I want to eliminate some of that bulk that I see, some of the darkness. I want to smooth it down so it, it's a smoother transition. Okay, I took off my number one guard because I want to get the line off at the bottom. And one thing, when you're watching these videos, you'll see sometimes I, I flip a lot, switch guards. And as you learn how to cut hair, you kind of, you'll develop your own technique. You can watch a lot of videos, but you're pretty much going to do your own thing. There's no right or wrong way to do it. The point is just to achieve a good haircut. And if you are a barber that's still cutting at home, make sure that you wear your gloves make sure you wear your mask and wipe down your chair use your barber side after every haircut because we don't need to be spreading that coronavirus okay well my barber i was right there that's why i see some bulk it's a little dark so i'm going to put on my number one guard lever all the way up and i'm going to go against the grain to knock off some of that density I wanna put my finishing touches on my fade right here. So you'll see me going back and forth between using my number one guard, going with the grain, going against the grain, lever up, lever down. But the point is, is I'm smoothing out my fade to make it look real good. Now I'm gonna create my first lineup in the back. And the most important part about your lineup is how good are your clippers? Um, I have a video where I show you how to adjust your T outliners. So pretty much when you hit them with that first stroke, they'll cut the hair real good without being sharp. And I'll include that in the description. We're gonna do like we did on the side. I'm gonna create the first line. I'm using my Renfo uh, cordless clippers to create that first line. Okay, like we did on the side, I'm gonna move my lever all the way down and I'm gonna create my second line. Okay, line number three, number one guard on all the way up. And let's create line number three. Let's go, we just gonna flick on up. Okay, I wanted to slow this down because this is the fun part. As you can see, I moved my lever all the way up and I have my number one guard on. I'm taking out the top part of the line. By me taking out that top part of the line, it's really creating the um, the fade, the fade so it can look like real, real nice. Okay, we got the top part of the blend looking nice and smooth. Now I wanna move to the bottom. Um, any lines that I see at the bottom, I'm adjusting my lever up and down and I'm gonna get those lines out. So now this part, I'm really just concentrating on the bottom part of the fade so we can have that smooth transition. If you didn't like my singing, don't you dare hit that thumbs down just leave a comment and tell me to stick to cutting hair and no more singing and I won't sing anymore. Maybe.
Okay, by now you kind of know my steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just be quiet and let y'all rock on out to this beat and watch the haircut. I may chime in a little bit here and there, but y'all go ahead and enjoy. Okay, I had to come back in. I just wanted to tell y'all, man, I miss the barbershop, man. If you're a barber watching this, I know you miss it too. I'm just trying to stay from going insane and cut a few customers' hair. And, and if you're not a barber, you, well, you're enjoying these videos and you're learning how to cut, but I know you will be coming back to us because the haircut probably didn't turn out like ours. But if you keep on practicing, you'll get good, but damn it, I miss my clients. Have some of y'all been hearing about this new 5G thing? That's what they saying. It's not really coronavirus, but it's the 5G network and where our bodies aren't in tune with the 5G. So it's creating viruses. I don't know. Some people believe in conspiracy theories. Some people don't. Sometimes I do think that it might be some BS and the numbers are exaggerated. I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. Leave a comment. Now we get into the lineup. The lineup is absolutely the most important part of a haircut because the lineup can make or break a haircut. If the lineup is tight, he's going to have a good night. But if the lineup ain't right, you better be prepared to fight. Woo hoo, y'all ain't know I was a part-time rapper. I got bars, son. If you notice in the front of his hair, he has a, what they call a calic. So the spot is a little bit lighter, but don't worry about it. I'm going to use some enhancements to darken that spot. Okay, now it's time to get to the enhancements, dog. The best way to apply your enhancements is to get a business card. So and kind of just trace that line. And what I like to do, uh, I use topic enhancements and I always mix the black and the dark brown so it can give it more of a natural look because if you just use straight black, it kind of looks unnatural when you get up close to somebody. But when you combine the black and the dark brown, it looks more natural so people can't even tell that they have enhancements in their hair because some people don't want other people to know that they're using enhancements. And don't worry, in the description, I'm going to include a link uh, to, to all the enhancements to the topic, to the brown and the black. Also, what I'm using, the atomizer, I'm going to include a link for that as well.
Here's a note. A good enhancement job is when you can't tell that they use enhancements. You want it to look as natural as possible. You want people to look at them like, damn, their shape up looks nice. That's when it's a good enhancement job. Got him looking G O O D. Hey man, I hope you like this video. If you liked it, definitely subscribe. If you need to, leave me a comment. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank y'all for watching this video. And as always, be good to each other. Stay corona free and ciao.